the sun, the white sand beaches, the dark blue waters. Is it any wonder that Jamaica is one of the top 10 destinations for most Americans? In fact, nearly 70% of all visitors to this island nation are from the US. Adventuring in Ocho Rios, the beaches of Negril, of course, the all night parties in Montego Bay. But let's face it, any brochure can promise you that. I'm here to show you the stuff you didn't know about and to share with you my hidden gems of Jamaica. I bet you didn't come to Jamaica to go dog sledding. Well, I will, and you can. It happens right here at Chukka Caribbean Adventures. This experience is led by a real Jamaican musher named Newton Marshall. He's the first Caribbean ever to compete in the famous Alaskan Iditarod race. There are 15 dogs on this sled with names like Jimmy, Big Ears, Isabella, Bruno, Marbles, Chukka, Rusty, and of course, don't ever forget the name of the leader, Smiley. But the really great thing about this experience is that all these dogs are rescue animals. And the rest, as they say, is history. All right, Newton, let's see what these dogs can do. Mush, man. Come on. Whoa! Whoa. Nice, Whoa. nice recovery. Whoa, there's no stopping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. Like most destinations, Jamaica's got iconic sites and outdoor activities that absolutely have to be on your list when you get there. And at the top of most people's list is Dunge River Falls in Ocho Rios. Now there's good reason for that. Dunge River Falls is more than 600 feet high. Now you may not realize it when you see it, but this particular waterfall has a rare phenomenon. It's considered to be living and growing because it's continuously being rebuilt with mineral deposits from the river. Okay, that one's in the brochure. But then, while you're there, head next door to Dolphin Cove. It's a great opportunity to swim with dolphins or even snorkel with sharks. That's right, I said sharks. But they tell me these fish are friendly. And if you really want to ratchet things up a notch and get a special immersive experience, then try the Sea Cave for a Day program. That's where you can learn what it takes to train and care for marine animals. While you're at Dolphin Cove, you can also enjoy a few things on dry land. There's a shopping village, not much of a surprise there, animals and birds, and you may even see some other smaller creatures. There are also some very cool experiences in Ocho Rios. Check out Mystic Mountain. This place has, now get this, a 45 mile an hour bobsled ride through the rainforest. This is where you get to live out your impossible dream of joining the Jamaican bobsled team, without the ice, of course. Now, if you're not feeling up for that thrill and you want to go a little slower and get some of the best views of the island, then you take a 30-minute chairlift ride through the trees. Want to keep both feet on the ground? Then hike through the woods or take in some local music and dance. A couple of hours west along the coast is the very late town of Negril, where you have to get out to Seven Mile Beach. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I'll let you in on a little secret. It's not actually seven miles. It's more like five and a half. But hey, who's counting? Still, these are five and a half spectacular miles of beach. Along the beach, you'll find restaurants, local vendors, as well as plenty of room to relax. But instead of just swimming in the water, why not try something a little more adventurous? Are you guys ready? Yeah! Cliff diving from 40 feet. Now, you couldn't pay me to do it, and maybe I couldn't pay you to do it, but you can still come out and watch other crazy people from all over the world jump. And if you thought Jamaica was only for honeymooners, well, think again. There are family experiences, and this is one of them, Cool Runnings Water Park. It's the largest water park in the Caribbean and has seven water slides, that's right, some of which start as high as 40 feet. There are more than just water slides at Cool Runnings. This eco-friendly water park is located next to the Great Morass, a protected wildlife area. You can raft through the Morasses canals to get a first-hand look at Jamaican plants and animals in their natural habitats. Now, if all this activity is making you hungry, well, that's not surprising. In fact, 
Jamaica is world famous for its local food scene. There's just one problem. Most visitors never even leave their hotel or resort. Now, I'm telling you, you've got to get out to experience where the locals go and have some really great off-the-beaten-path experiences. There's even something called the Jerk Trail, consisting of 22 restaurants across the island serving great Jamaican jerk. Speaking of Jamaican jerk, if you want the real experience, you come here, one of my favorite places in the entire country. It's called Scotchies. Now, I'm here in Ocho Rios. They also have it in Montego Bay. Method to their madness, though. It's dark, it's hot, it's smoky. They use corrugated tin. They cook it on the original street wood. By the way, did I tell you it was hot? It's hot. But here, speaking of hot, if somebody asks you if you want some hot sauce with your dish, you do so at your own risk. Let me have that chicken. You know what? You want great Jamaican jerk chicken, great Jamaican jerk pork, great roast fish. You come to Scotchies, but of course, you wash it down with the obligatory one. Now, let me fix that. Two bottles of the local brew. Not surprisingly, everyone likes to ask me where I've experienced the world's best sunsets. Well, I can tell you where one of them is, and it's right here at Rick's Cafe. It's been around before most of the resorts even existed. And at the end of the day, it's all about a mixed drink, live music, and that famous Jamaican sunset. Of course, most travel brochures show you nothing but frolicking in the sun with Ken and Barbie riding on a boat, but guess what? Once the sun goes down over the sea, Jamaica comes alive at night. Now, even if you're not a late night partier, you're gonna wanna get a taste of this. Welcome to Montego Bay's Hip Strip. They've got restaurants, bars, and music all right here on Gloucester Avenue. And since Jamaica is considered the birthplace of reggae, dance hall, and many other types of music, be prepared for great music and, of course, plenty of dancing. What I like about any island destination is being near the water, or if I'm really lucky, being in it. But smart travelers will tell you that Jamaica is much more than surf and sand. It's got history, culture, and architecture. And speaking of culture, if you thought Jamaica was just about reggae and Rastafarians, well, you might want to think again. Jamaica is known for its great houses, or old plantation homes. Many are national historic monuments, and each one tells a story about the island's often dramatic history. Here's one of Jamaica's true gems, a place where the tour buses don't usually stop. It's called Greenwood Guest House, historically the biggest plantation on the island, which at its peak spanned 84,000 acres. The Great House is a window into what life was like for 19th century plantation owners in Jamaica, and it was one of the few houses not destroyed in the slave rebellions of the 1830s. As a result, it has one of the best antique collections in all of the Caribbean. You can find much of the house's original furniture and an impressive collection of old musical instruments. If you're looking for the perfect photo op, then you need to look all the way west to Negril Lighthouse on the westernmost tip of the island. But believe me, this trip is worth it. This place stands 100 feet tall, and the concrete structure dates back to 1894. But here's what I really love about this lighthouse. It's been completely solar powered since 1985. And if you climb all the way up to the top, and you can, you can see some of the most spectacular views around. If you want to get a little history in while you shop, then why not try this off the beaten path place? It's called the Old Fort Craft plus Heritage Park. Not only will you find handmade wood carvings and one-of-a-kind crafts, but you'll also see the remains of Fort Montego, an English fort that dates back to the 1700s. Last, but definitely not least, if you want authentic Jamaican culture and history, you need to check out the Out of Many experience. Out of Many means comes together and reflects the Jamaican motto of out of many, one people. When it comes to Jamaica, it's not about the destination. It's all about the experience. There are championship golf courses, zip line adventures, and if you want even more adrenaline, you can go biking or four-wheeling off the beaten path. But on the flip side of that, there's nothing wrong with just spending an afternoon simply on the river. Sometimes that's the best, most memorable experience of all. If you really want to understand Jamaica's roots, you need to do what I'm doing, get out on the water. Don't just look at the sea from the beach, look at the coast from the sea. Jamaica's not just a regular vacation destination, it embraces a unique perspective with rich history and unbelievable cultural experiences you won't find anywhere else. So once you get out here, you don't just boat around the island, 
you sail forward.